Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? So, I've been getting this quest. Uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, could you please cover this thing on Git and uh, version control and everything? So, today I'm like, okay, why not? So, uh, this tutorial, um, I'm gonna cover um, something on Git and version control. Meanwhile, uh, I really advise you guys to check kenyatech.com if you just here you just check my latest post on project management using pivotal tracker I also have very great post a uh, three-part tutorial on git and version control and generally how to do everything this video will just be a summary of everything and definitely I'll be able to post it in this channel after all before I do so please guys go ahead and check this it says it has very amazing tutorials also go and subscribe to our youtube channel which is directly here i have very amazing video tutorials here so you can definitely go ahead and watch please before we actually begin post the video or do not you don't actually have to post the video go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below the right live screen please make sure you subscribe to this channel share it with your guys as well tell them to subscribe because you want to support more people and by producing this tutorial as well so uh, in my tutorial of today, I'll be talking about Git and version control. Generally, uh, I, I my basic assumption right now is you guys are well conversant with people uh, with uh, basic pivotal tracker, and meaning you're also well concerned with uh, something to do with um, you know uh, basic Git. So it's something a bit much more advanced. It's not like something super big, but we hope. Everyone who will be like viewing this tutorial will be like, you know what, this is the best tutorial that I can actually recommend for you. So, in the meantime, I'll be going to Pivotal Tracker, create a story. I'll be connecting my Pivotal Tracker to my GitHub repo link and everything. And I'll be able to do a push and everything. And I'll be using something quite much more dynamic so that at least you guys see how I basically work around it. So, let's get started. So, before we start, I'll just be talking about... Uh, what I'm basically going to do so uh, I'll definitely post the video for a while to sort out some some uh, space thing then I'll be back so yeah welcome guys so I uh, like I said I had some space issues I just had to go and resolve it up I uh, hope it won't pop up again so in this tutorial just I'm definitely going to go straight to uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to create a, a repository in our local machine after creating a repository in our local machine, we will go ahead and create a repository in our GitHub link. In our GitHub, then after creating the same as well, uh, we're going to create one story in Pivotal Tracker. Then after doing that, we'll connect Pivotal Tracker with our GitHub. Then we're definitely going to see how we can use branching mechanisms to switch between on and off. So something like that. Basically, it's going to be pretty much simple as that, okay? So watch me so like i said the first thing create a repository in our local machine make did make directory um so i'll just call this my app then i'm gonna cd into my app my app so i'll just get in it inside here and that's all so right now I'm going to create a file touch readme dot md that's all so nothing I'm basically still doing nothing inside here I'm not adding anything so basically that's it I'm going to come to my github to my uh, sublime text open this my app Yeah, so I'll just open it up and that's it. So I think we'll have to close up that and now we basically have our readme file which is pretty much empty right now. We have not yet added it anything and basically that's it. So we're gonna go to GitHub. Uh, so we're gonna go to GitHub here. GitHub.com It's pretty much simple. As that one is loading, I'm also going to open Pivotal Tracker. 
but at least you are able to be very fast uh, making this up so uh, I'm gonna add a new repo new repository I'm gonna call this repository uh, my app okay cool I'm not gonna try to describe anything so it's public and everything cool uh, that's all for now so I'll definitely uh, be there so I'm going to create a new project this project I'll call it my app as well select an account dev no let me call select that I'll choose this public so I'll create an account So let me move this one here, it's pretty much easier. So I'm in my app, I'm going to create a story and like I said, I'll be copying some few things. Uh, so let me copy this, uh, okay, pretty much simple. So uh, my, my belief is you guys are already already know like basic things like creating stories from my previous tutorial so that's all uh, I think no blockers I'm not gonna add like um, this test it's probably gonna add that as just the test there I need there so um, I'm gonna come back oh no okay okay so story title Yes, so with that, let me just have that. So this is this is very much gonna come in handy. So I don't have this yet, so I don't have the ID yet. But once I get the ID, I can be able to do anything. Uh, I think that's pretty much. So when I save, I can come back here, copy paste this ID. Press it there. I'm trying to, so as a task, I should be able to offer access here. Yeah, basically, that's it. So I update. So I'm going to update that. That's pretty much it. So the next thing I'm also going to do, I'm going to add another story as well. So let me draw another story type will be a bug type I'm, I'm just adding these things from random so that's why actually you guys can see that I'm actually copying them directly from what I have in my blog so uh, please bear with me it's just the story um, title Okay, totally unestimated because I can't unestimate it right now. It's a bug. Uh, I don't know, but I need to go to the other story. So let me save this. I'll definitely come back to edit it up. So when I come back here, I can copy paste this. So when I come back here, probably my bug is solving this. So I can definitely update it up. And yeah, I think that's all for now. No reviews I'm actually giving. So I have two stories. One is a bug, another one is a feature. So um, we can actually make it a feature. So the fact that like my assumption right now is you guys know how to create stories and bugs and everything. So I'm going to integrate GitHub. Pretty much simple. Uh, then integrations. So go to more, then integrations. Add the integrations. I'll select GitHub. Uh, already it's integrated, so it's definitely picking up my username. Uh, oh, okay. Choose the project from GitHub to integrate. So it's already picking up my app. So 
uh, in this case in case this was not being picked up I would have definitely selected it so also definitely picking up my app as well so I could have definitely selected it up here so I can go ahead and here save integration no okay sorry I, I ended up with something so I need to actually this way I choose um, my app so it's not like the other one that is the name of it so my app comes here save integration so I need to choose the repository here thank you so cool we are actually we have actually integrated so everything is fine right now so I'm definitely gonna go back and and do a bit of some few uh, some little little things to see that everything that we have the readme the empty readme file comes here so i'll come here and add, add just a header um my app my app up save git add readme.md git commit so I'm, def I'm definitely just going to commit to master currently because it's definitely going to be an empty thing so git commit to what am I committing to so I'm committing empty repository nothing much to me actually git add so i'm definitely going to come back here in here copy paste these links you can actually type them using that i don't think they're very important that will definitely push while that's pushing i'm definitely going to come back here pretty much simple add a few lines gh pages link so i'll put the jet pages link here so uh, if you understand what this pages means i'll definitely put it there so uh while here i'm going to create a new branch so first of all i'll check how many branches i have good branch pretty much simple i only have the master branch so i'll create a new branch good branch gh pages git checkout the checkout gh pages so i'm definitely i've definitely just switched out to gh pages so uh i'll save this uh, then i'll just do git add readme.md again git push now git commit empty repository so adding a readme file okay pretty much oh yeah i don't know what did i do yes so i added a readme file uh, there is probably some error so i can definitely just do git reset head to delete that the commit but anyway i'm not gonna delete because it's not like i've not like really reached to where i want to explain things or how to do things right now uh it's not like something so big to me anything yet so uh while here um i'm actually going to sub active done git commit so i'm going to do uh git push so i think i can git push origin gh pages because i'm pushing it to the gh pages branch right now so if i do that it's going to push it to gh pages so th to me this is up to what we call um basic git and please allow me just to clear this so what if what generally happens is i want to develop a web page and i want all my features to be to be branched off from gh pages and i just want to keep my master branch so clean okay so every feature will come from gh pages will uh so every feature will come from gh pages yes so from now i'm now in jet pages so if, if you go if you come to my github link my github repo and reload it up you'll see that i have two branches 
and I already have one commit in master and I have another one commit in JS pages. Uh, the reason why we are actually putting it into JS pages is because when you go to settings, you'll be definitely you'll definitely be able to see that we have actually have a link in our JS pages. So I can actually copy this link and you know come back here and paste this link here. So definitely that is that is what we mean by adding of everything to. So when I'm here, I can get add with middle term be pretty much simple with the link. Pretty much simple, guys. So get push origin to JS pages. I've just made the second commit to JS pages. Not like really nothing much. So from here. I want to branch into my first feature so I want to create so each and every feature as as um, as I did mention in my previous blog each and every feature needs to be in its own branch so um, in its own branch so I'm gonna create a branch so get branch get branch uh, which branch is this so I'm gonna call this so I'm gonna go to my pivotal tracker my app dashboard stories so I've, I've definitely explained most of these things of how people of how people to track our works because this story is currently unstarted it's residing in the Xbox so when we start it will automatically come here I'm definitely gonna take tell you guys how to even bring a git commit to come here so this is the name of my branch so I'll call it ft everything so Hopefully that so I'm definitely branching to this. I know it's quite big, so uh, get check out, check out this. Pretty much simple. I've already switched to this, so when when I'm actually here, I can definitely create a new file. So I can go to my app, add a new file, new file, index.html, that's all, uh, then I'll just do html, uh, that's all, right now, empty, page, I don't want to put anything to be quite huge here so I've just added a new file called index.html so I'm going to commit it just the same way it's very empty right now so there are just some few changes that I've added so when I do git status here the status very simple git add index git commit so this is where things are starting to be a little bit technical so the moment I do git commit dash m, I'll be starting this feature. So remember, I think I think I did mention out something yesterday, and I didn't point it out so much clear yesterday. That sometimes, uh, let me just let me just bring that thing out here. Um, so I'll open. Allow me to open recent. Open recent. So. Uh, yes allow me to open my reason so this is just it and i th okay so i don't know it it just escaped and went like that oh i didn't save it whoa geez i didn't save it so anyway uh when i come here i'll do start starts then i put ash here then here i'm required to paste the story id Okay, then my commit message. So my commit message here would be added an empty and an empty index file. Okay, so I'll just do that. Git push. Git 
it push origin uh, so I'll definitely go ahead and copy paste this branch name here so I'm pushing to this specific branch that's all so it will definitely resolve everything and um, I've definitely just pushed it so automatically what I've done is I've started this feature and as you guys can see the feature has automatically moved itself from icebox to current iterations with my uh, with my commit message coming here automatically as an activity so this is basically what I mean when I say you integrate github with pivotal tracker and just collecting up everything so right now my feature is not yet finished so uh, it's like it automatically just started so the start command definitely start it up and move it from icebox to current iterations okay so now if I want to um, finish up this story what I'll definitely go ahead and change so I can definitely go and change a few things here so I'll add header and you know I'll just put empty thing something into there so git add index.html and added something added the header pretty much simple but then here because this one was starting now I'm finishing so I'll just do finishes I'll just do finishes and commit and I'll do git push origin to the same thing now this feature will automatically be finished okay so that is how you start a, a story and you definitely finish it up and you can now basically see my story has been finished up so I, it's now time for me to deliver and deliver it. I just come and click it here so basically that's how you start a story and you finish it up however sometimes when you have uh, commits in in between the start and finish because it's a feature so instead of saying start and finish instead of instead of saying uh, so where was my commit message uh, so this is my commit message so I'll just replace this with feature in case it's a commit which is lying in between so feature in case it was a bug I'll just say bug bg uh, I mean bug sorry in case that you'll just say cho in here okay I think that's all from this so I'll, I'll go ahead I'll go to my github reload everything come to my app I want to raise a pull request so I'll come here compare and raise a pull request pretty much simple I'm raising a pull request from here back to GH pages not back to master so back to GH pages um, I'll describe the pull request so describe the PR so that goes here I'm not gonna do that in this tutorial uh, create the pull request after reviewing ask you guys so I'll definitely copy paste this link share it in my slack in the steam uh, so that at least they can I can ask for their review then once I'm done I can definitely merge I will definitely merge this pull request and now that I've merged it means that my GH pages is nearly the same as what I have in my uh, feature in this in this in this my feature branch okay so right now when I'm basically done it means that my GH pages in my local machine so uh, clear let me clear this Sorry. so clear so right now my local machine the jet pages that I have in my local machine is pretty much behind so what I need to go ahead and do is to do git pull because I want to branch the to the second feature I need to so I'll just do git checkout to uh, jet jet pages so I've definitely just switched back but the truth here at this point guys here is the JS pages that I have in my github is pretty much higher or ahead than what I have in my local machine so I'll do git git pull so allow me just to delete some of these few commands so git pull gh pages so that at least they just become on the same page so git pull not push Git pull jet pages pretty much simple. Oh no, okay. Git pull, yes. So I'm just pulling everything from jet pages. 
saying everything is up to date no this is this is a lie did i match so let me just check in case it got marked so these pages whoa what what happened what did i do okay so i did it to master what oh no i did it to master so this is a big error so i wanted to raise it back to just pages okay let me just see and come back to just pages new pull request not to master but to just pages describe the PR create a pull request so that that must have been an error okay that must have been an error guys so apologies yes so uh, I don't want to delete the branch currently so if I do this it pull definitely going to pull and definitely bring my index to test channel here so uh so that's it now while at just pages i can go ahead and branch into my second feature or into my second story so i'll just do git branch because i've actually pulled now so i'll definitely just come here and do git git branch to my second story so come here second story was this bug uh, what was the name CSS error so this get checkout i've already switched out to them uh nothing much uh i'll def from here i'll be able to do a few tweaks you know not like really something big here so i'll just do uh don't know what to do <laughs> i can link something that doesn't exist uh yes i don't have any css right now uh, so i'll just do git add everything so i'll just do git add git add index html git checkout git commit sorry so this will be git commit so um i think it's also important to i'll just say linked css even if i didn't do anything so sometimes there might be only one commit to a specific story so you don't have really have to restrict yourself just come and say from unstarted just say finishes it will automatically take the story to the finished mode so you don't really have to go ahead and worry about that as well so I usually say this when you have only one commit just use finishes uh, when you have two use start and finishes when you have more than more than two just use start in between they have a feature branch or anything then use with finishes when you're definitely done so that's it so i'll do commit this then i'll do git git push u origin then my branch name Pretty much simple it's gonna push it and once i'm done i'm still gonna i'm just going to go back so in case we wait this for a bit moment do to reflect oh no so i had i made a big mistake i made a big mistake uh, the mistake i made was i didn't copy this so when i was doing the commit so okay sorry let me just add update this file css css okay so uh, guys forgive me i'm trying to be in a hurry so that at least i'm not cut out so git add index.html git commit finishes this so i'll try to so i did not change this i did not change the story id okay uh what
hit add okay then git push yes pretty much simple so this is gonna should actually going to change this yes it has changed it now from and started fully to finishing and the the activity has definitely come here linking the cs cs code so from here i will definitely go back to my github i'll go back come back here um raise a pr compare and raise a pull request i'm raising a pull request back to gh pages okay create a pull request i'll describe the pull request by the way just describe the pull request then check for checking for compatibility then i'm going to match okay so once i merge once i merge i'll go back to uh git checkout checkout some git checkout gh pages okay then once i check out it means that my gh page is also ahead currently so what i'll do is to git pull origin gh pages okay once i pull that once i pull that what i'm gonna do next is branch off to my third branch to my third story so that is this becomes a process one by one if i'm branching off from gh pages this is exactly what 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 you basically need to follow so please like i said that's all about this tutorial please check out the link in the description of this video check out kenya-tech.com for much more important videos like this please subscribe to the youtube channel share with the colleagues as well remind them to subscribe and I think that's all. Thank you guys and see you guys for my next tutorial.